research is often conducted in teams, which means you have multiple people coding the same data. But how can you assess the level of agreement among your coders? In the past, Atlas TI counted on the help of online tools, but with the release of Atlas TI 8, we wanted to make teamwork easier than ever. We worked closely with Dr. Klaus Krippendorf, one of the leading experts in the field, and we incorporated an intercoder agreement tool directly into Atlas TI. You can now assess the accuracy of how multiple coders analyzed a given body of data and thus underscore the validity of your analysis. You can find more detailed information, instructions, and tips in the Atlas TI user manual, and we highly recommend you read through it before embarking on your intercoder agreement analysis. The intercoder agreement tool crosses the qualitative quantitative divide, so there are some stricter coding requirements for accurate calculations. You will need to develop semantic domains that are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. A semantic domain represents any main topics, issues, or themes that you are analyzing. These can be standalone codes or groups of codes. Once you have received each person's project that they have independently coded, you can enter the intercoder agreement mode and merge the separate projects together. Now you can see the codings of each person in the margin area of any document. To make the calculations, click on the intercoder agreement button in the Analyze tab. First, you need to add the users that coded the data. Then, select the documents that should be included in the analysis. Add your semantic domains by adding one or more codes to each domain. You can also simply drag and drop your codes from the Project Explorer on the left-hand side. You can add as many semantic domains as you would like. Now, you can see the quotations displayed on the right-hand side. When you select a quotation, the full content is shown in the preview, and you can write comments on the specific quotations. When you scroll to the right in the quotation view window, you can see the codes that have been applied by the selected coders. You can also see where the quotation is located in the document continuum. If you click on one of the lines, only the quotations of the selected code and coder are shown, so you can easily explore all the codings of your team. To calculate your intercoder agreement, select one of the four methods from the ribbon. The percent agreement provides a simple calculation that can be helpful for seeing the rate of agreement between coders as a percentage. The Holsey Index goes beyond simple percent agreement because it includes situations where coders have not coded all data segments. Krippendorf's C-alpha binary coefficient assesses the reliability of distinguishing between relevant and irrelevant data, or in other words, the quotations that each coder created. Krippendorf's Cu-alpha coefficient measures the reliability of a semantic domain. The Cu-alpha coefficient gives a summary measure for all selected semantic domains. You can find more detailed explanations on these different measures in the Atlas TI user manual. To save your intercoder agreement analysis, just click on the Export button to save a report. In the words of Krippendorf, researchers need to demonstrate the trustworthiness of their data by measuring their reliability. By measuring intercoder agreement, we can infer the reliability of our analysis. Atlas TI 8 is here to help you assess your data and thus share your valuable research with the rest of the world. Yeah.